Ya, langsung dalam barisan, sumpah curah. Seven o'clock. Terlalu banyak. Tuh, kamu lihat. Ada berapa baris? Kalau seandainya kemarin semua kita ini turun, yang sekolah pagi ini turun, saya juga belum cek di kelompok masing-masing. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I'm at uh, Ruteng and uh, I've had breakfast, it was nasi goreng and uh, uh, coffee and uh, now I'm sort of almost packed. It's 10 o'clock and I'm about to leave and as I told you I changed my itinerary so I'm actually going back to Lubang, Labuan Bayo today and I've just booked hotel. Unfortunately Komodo Lodge which I stayed in the last time it's fully booked so uh, uh, I had to change hotel but the only thing I have to change is that my suitcase is at the Commodore Lodge and I need to get it to this Commodore Hotel or something it was very similar the name so uh, yeah but I think it'll be fine I will have like sea view view see sea view yeah so it will be a probably a nice view uh, the weather is very nice right now, but you can see there is some, oh, there's more clouds now than it was this morning, but it's still very nice. This is the school. There's a school here. I woke up at seven o'clock because they were talking into a microphone and then all the people came here on this uh, playground here and they stood and they also faced this way and then they had like ceremony or they pr were praying and this kept on going for 30 minutes so this was fully packed with people yeah pretty awesome view from Rutang and yeah the school kept on going for half an hour and they mostly did prayers so now they're I don't know So uh, that was also an experience. But yeah, I'm, I'm ready to actually go. And uh, it will be a, a long drive, but maybe there is time to do some stops if I can feel like it and not like rush through it. Because now it's the highway, more or less. Well, I think it is. The highway all the way back to La Bon Royal. So yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah, so I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you out there. some questions here from uh, from the school I think good morning uh, of course I'm a student from Santa Mateta I want to ask you because we had an examination from school okay what is your uh, uh, what is my name? <laughs> yeah? Uh, Magnus? Sweden? Is your purpose in Committee Indonesia? Uh, uh, one more time. What is, what is your purpose in Committee Indonesia? What is your purpose in Committee Indonesia? Oh! Um, uh, 
tourist uh, to to see Indonesia and to learn more about the country. Uh, two weeks. Why did I choose? <laughs> One more time. Why? Uh, yes, uh, uh, what do you like about the Mangarai area? Oh, what I like about uh, oh, I like the, I like the people, uh, the people, and I like the food. Uh, and I also, and I like the scenery, the landscape. Thank you for your time and your questions for the team. Thank you, the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in Indonesia? Uh, two weeks. What do you like about the Mandarin area? Uh, it's very beautiful here. and. Uh, yeah, so I, I really like uh, going around and meeting people. Thank you for your time and opportunity for helping us come with all. Oh, thank you. Terima <laughs> kasih. So I'm in Rutang and there's much more people who use the helmet here than in other Asian countries. Or maybe not every other country, but, but they do uh, use a lot of uh, helmets here. So that is kind of surprising. I was supposed to turn right somewhere here, but maybe it's here, yeah, I think it's here. And then it's going uh, back to Labuan Bayo. Leaving Tang behind me, I'm uh, out on the countryside. It's clouds and uh, yeah, it could be rain, of course. It's the rain season after all, but hey, hey, hey. Okay, so over here, uh, this is uh, where the spider web is, and you can climb that uh, mountain there. But I didn't do that yesterday, and I'm not gonna do it today because I saw a picture, and it was like comparing to what I saw, it wasn't that much of a difference. So uh, I think I've done my share of spider web uh, rice fields. It was just like a photo op, and then uh, yeah and then it was good so i've been i don't know how i don't know the time don't ask me i don't know if Su surya is uh, the same thing as uh varung like a restaurant because there's a lot of them called surya Sur surya yeah oh yeah i don't know Oh, look at the church. So I just stopped along the way here and as you can see, you can buy chicken here. There's a lot of chicken, I think. And uh, there's also a church. Most people here are Catholic, but it's different from uh, what island, because some islands, they are Muslims and uh, here they are Catholic. Oh, it could be rain, but no, it won't. Oh yeah, and explore, and um, and then go to Bali. Go to Bali. Yeah, or Lombok. Yeah. Ah. Long time you for a week. Four weeks. Four weeks in Indonesia, Indonesia. Oh. and uh, two weeks two in uh, um, Thailand. 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 Yeah. So nice, it's a uh, nice holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Do you do you work yeah, here? Room here? Yeah. Do you work here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you are you together? Crazy. Are you wife? This is crazy. Huh? Crazy, a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> oh, and they sell oh a lot of fish here as well. Yeah. Fish. Yeah, fish. 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 Yeah, sell, fish. And uh, 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 hen. Yeah, like, yeah. For mine and chicken people. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every Sunday. Every Sunday? Oh yeah? Yeah. Very yeah. 
And then uh, you have a priest. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like uh, yeah, it Italy in uh, in Italy, Europe. Yeah. It's Italy, Catholic yeah. as well. Catholic Roma. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice. Okay. So I was just stopping on the way back to Lubambaya and was going to take a picture of the mountain. We can say that, I, I don't really know, but Weirebo could be up here in the mountains, but I don't know if this is the right mountain. But then I stopped here and I also saw the rice fields. Really nice, huh? so sad that I get so suspicious you know they, they're stopping and they're like they want to take a picture and I was like no and often I do that but now he, he looked a little bit dangerous and I was like oh I don't want to give him my camera and uh, yeah so I, I it's sad and now they just left so he probably was a totally decent guy you know uh, but that's how it is sorry in the mountains again and I missed a uh, photo opportunity of a mountain village which was like my god it was like uh, yeah the houses were on the slope and in the middle of uh, like yeah it was uh, looking so beautiful but uh, no I don't go the back the game over there from over there now the clouds are very low here But they're quite a lot of houses, I think. They're, they're, they're living people everywhere. Hi. So, I'm uh, stopping and having lunch. It is much warmer now. I'm about halfway. I'm having my lunch with some cookies and water. I'm stopping here. I escaped some rain over there. I felt I felt a few drops, but uh, I managed to escape it. And now it could be rain over there. So I was thinking about maybe stopping now before it all happens. Um, here you have rice fields, and here they, they, they are like, uh, yeah, working. Now I'm gonna see how, how far I am. I found it. This looks like a, like a Western Palm Springs almost. Uh, but here it is. It looks quite fresh. And uh, for you, it might have taken like a second before I got here. But for me, it took two hours or one and a half hours or something like that. So it was a lot of turns, a lot of turns and uh, a lot of... Uh, uh, big cars. I don't know what you call them. Trucks uh, they, that you have a lot of stuff in. Uh, yeah, uh, moving around like soil and stuff. Big trucks. Yeah. Where you like 
go like that tip I wonder if that, that also they had like a spa thing kind of going on okay so I'm leaving it here and I'm gonna try and check in and I need to get my suitcase here somehow CF Komodo Hotel But I must say it's, it's, it seems like quite clean and a little bit newer. Art. AC. And kind of fresh bathroom. Even though the sink. Well, maybe, you know, yeah, it's made that way. Okay. I hope it works. Yeah. But there well, are two downsides to it. They have no uh, no refrigerator. And I kind of knew that because it wasn't in the description, but sometimes you're lucky. But no. One thing is that they don't have any Wi-Fi here. It's broken. Well, they do have a Wi-Fi, but it's broken. And I'm like, that is sort of maybe one of the reasons why you choose a hotel, or every hotel has Wi-Fi nowadays. Even the one in the Rutang, but it was shit. <laughs> you couldn't use it. But uh, yeah, so I'm kind of pissed about that. But the airport is apparently like walking distance from here. Uh, but they also have a free transport to the to the to the airport, so that is good. That's good because I'm uh, leaving on uh, Saturday, I think. Yeah. So yeah, do you want to see the view? Oh, it's very hot. But here's the whole bay. Isn't that really really nice? I'm glad I have a scooter, so I don't have to walk here. Oh. And I must say, this candy is very, very nice. It mints, but it's like a chewing kind of thing, but it's very minty, like it. So this is uh, what I'm thinking. It's 20 minutes past three. And I sort of want to sort the whole bag thing out because before I can really relax so my my luggage is still at the other hotel and I need to bring it here uh, and I thought it might be okay to like walk it here but this is very far up there and it's much it's uh, uh, oh, it's much further away than I thought uh, and uh, there's also other the, the latitude well, it's going up very much, and uh, yeah, and my suitcase is heavy, my luggage is heavy. So yeah, so I'm gonna go there with my bike. Maybe I can take it between my legs and drive it here. That would be the easiest thing. Or if that doesn't work, then I, then I have to put my bike there, over there, and take a taxi with the luggage over here, and then walk back or take the taxi. No, walk back. I can walk without the luggage there. That, that'll be fine. And especially when if I go downwards. But I feel it in my legs, the way Rebo hike. I definitely feel it. I feel it in my I feel it in my legs, even in my toes. Blah blah. Okay, so now I booked the flight over to Bali uh, on Saturday. It's Thursday today, so I have tomorrow. I'm going to be here in La Bombayo and then on Saturday at 12.15 the, the airplane leaves, the flight leaves. Oh, great! So, and that one, the price got up, it was $68, but then after when I checked it this morning and now it was 76 But anyway, it's quite cheap, $76. Okay, great. Uh, now I'm going to pack myself uh, together and uh, then I'm going to go to the hotel and see what happens. Uh, yeah, just going to charge that a little bit and then I'm off. So 
so yeah i that big there i put it in between my legs and at first i was like coming the, the same way back as i as i did the first time uh but then it was one, one way so i had to turn and go all the way around and it took a while but it went it was scary a little bit at first but then it went all right and now i uh would help yeah here now <laughs> now i have it oh i didn't take any pictures down there at the lodge when i came there there were two french guys older than me and then they had booked two rooms but they only had one and they wanted two and they were like upset and one of them had stomach bug and stuff so yeah it took a while then i get rid of my booking from sunday saturday to sunday which i pre-booked i haven't paid it so uh, that was okay and then this motherfucker when I saw it, it was like, oh, it's so big. It probably won't fit between my legs on the motorbike, on the scooter. But it did. I could, like, turn it very, very, very little. But I was like, oh, I'm gonna try. And then I started to go the, the, the same way back. But just in the middle of the, of the backen, in the middle of the hill, in the middle. Somebody was like, oh, no, no, one way. So it was one way. You had to go around and then I had to turn the bike around with a lot of traffic and then go back down to the marina and the main street quite far away before, quite far. And then turn left and then go up the hill again. But it was very good because the, the, the main street is very straight. So there's not a lot of turns because, and that was the hard part. But, uh, yeah, it was quite, it, it was, uh, just in the beginning I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna fall. But then I settled and then it worked uh, fine. And I'm very happy. Uh, this guy came out from the reception and he said, oh, I can help you with the bag. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna say no to that because there are quite many stairs and it's quite heavy. And he just put it on his head and uh, brought it up here. So, um thankful for that so now what now what I need to it's quarter to five so I think I will take a shower and this one this I have to sort of I think I have to clean this one okay yeah I don't have any bintang because I would love to if I had a, a refrigerator but okay well I'm flying on Sunday and then I can only have 20 kilos in that bag. So, and now I bought a t-shirt and coffee as well. So, uh, yeah, have to see if I have to throw something away or if I'll manage. Hopefully I'll manage. I'm probably on the edge. I'm probably like, uh, so. <laughs> I wonder if this hotel is finished because downstairs, down there, there's a stairs and then I saw the stairs going that way and then it just stopped. Maybe they are going to build something there, I don't know. It's also like, if you look at it, first it looks very, very nice, but then when you look a little bit more closer, you see that it's not very well built. Uh, let me show you. So here we are inside. Uh, so far so good. Yeah, this is quite okay. But the bathroom. The yeah, first class is really, really nice. But look at this. <laughs> Not standards. And in the corners they're like quite yeah. And the pressure, look at the pressure. And you can't choose hot or warm, hot or cold. It's just, it's stuck. Hmm. So I've been uh, 
washing up my shorts and t-shirt, it smelled. But I've been swearing a lot in them. The sun has set, kind of. So it's probably, yeah, 5.30. So uh, I'm thinking of uh, maybe, yeah, I've been repacking a little bit. Getting all the things to here and, uh, yeah. I still have some things to do. And then after that, I need some food, I think. Because, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's time for that. I might go to have like KFC, was it? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Maybe they have like a chicken burger there or something, because I sort of craves it. Or there were some really nice places up here, up in the hill. So I'll uh, can I? Oh no, I have to go that way. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll go by the scooter now because uh, yeah, because I can. So this is the whole way down. Here we have stairs where it goes to nothing. Here is like a pass. You can also see that they're quite. Yeah, it's not new. Here we have stairs to nothing. There we have stairs to nothing. It seems like, yeah, they stopped here, but it was supposed to go all the way up. Here we have the reception. Oh, it's deep. Hi. Okay, so I went into town and I was set for a year. I'm going to have like a chicken burger and then they had French fries and Coca-Cola and that was what I wanted. And I got in front of the line and I was like, okay, a combo burger. And she was, oh, we're out of burgers. They're finished. Uh, and my mood just dropped. My mood just dropped. Oh yeah, so after that I went to Starbucks because I knew they had like a tuna sandwich there. So I'm very right now I'm I I want some regular food. But maybe because I, I don't know why. Because I love Indonesian food, I love all that. But right now I'm sort of Yeah. I've had not so great food <laughs> lately, so maybe that's why. I need I need something juicy. So okay, so the tuna. I, and then I've I've been sitting in in Facebook, in Starbucks, and uh, uploading a lot of uh, videos to Instagram, because at my hotel I don't have enough Wi-Fi. So there you have it. Now I'm going to take out some money from the ATM and go to buy some things from the grocery store. Yes, yeah, I'm, I think I want to have some Coca-Cola tonight as well, because I crave it.